Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert versus the New York Times crossword. Today we're going to do the Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 crosswords. And uh, having some issues with the site here, but I guess we'll be going for a 1433 uh, day streak. Luckily, these links down here still work. So anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Oops, oat, odors, uh, patio, small stuff, and solo Leo. Leo DiCaprio is in Killers of the Flower Moon. I haven't seen it. Is that is that Tarantino? Is that true? Drive around Hollywood. Nice little misdirect. Could be Mini Driver also. We got a beer pong reference there. So Adam Driver and Leo DiCaprio in this puzzle. Interesting enough. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid. Ah, right, these links down here still work, which is by Nathan Hale today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what Nathan Hale has in store for us. Let's get into it. Seas, it's written as CCCP USSR. Prepare to fight Goliath, question mark. Japanese rice wine is sake. Fly the coop. Pupil's place. It's gonna be skedaddle and uvia. Spot from which to say bon voyage. A pier, maybe? You can tap a credit card. Presidential nickname is Teddy. Penne a la vodka. Word with life or screen. Saver. Chris, formerly a 50 across. I guess it's SNL and red. Retreating feature on a cliff and pizzazz. Okay, tennis star Naomi Osaka. Hikers aid sports org with an annual trans championship on the weekend before Memorial Day. Blank so shy. Okay, measurement on an electric meter. This is tapas here. Uh, scheming sly. Actress Reese of Touched by an Angel. I don't know it. I like the numerals one, two, and three. Waikiki locale. I think that's just Oahu. That's something about a rock, right? Kill Arabic, Aoi, add section in a newspaper, and seals in a way. Okay. Dutch beer name for a river. Maybe it's Amstel. Dine at a restaurant is eight out. City in which to see Il Canacolo. This is Milano. Motown legend Smokey Robinson. Perfect score is often a 10. Practice changing one's costume by the clock. Cowboys and cowgirls are OSU. First murder victim is Abel. Uh, insert. I'm on a boat. Okay. Calks here. Boo boo. Okay. Earmarks. A lot. Other workers' tools and all. Invested on Broadway, say. Smokey bear, teddy bear, boo boo bear. I see those. Uh, taking off. Matchbox is a toy car, prefix with nautical, aeronautical. NBC staple, this is SNL. Audience for which G-rated film is appropriate, all ages. Fine and dandy, something you shouldn't take lying down. La Brea tar pits, betrayed Paddington, or what all those did in this puzzle, the acrosses anyway. Uh, something a bear, cross the bear, unload so to speak. Something you shouldn't take lying down, right? Philly school, toupee is a rug and you pen there. Barbara's concerns the APR. Greg Popovich coaches Spurs extra loud, blaring. Keeping in the loop, CCing. Poor grade is a D, in which the pinky and thumb represent Y. That's ASL, American Sign Language. This is cells. A cemetery night might be eerie. Turndowns are nose. Bridge is span. That is so so. And dance is salsa. Honeybee's genus is Apis. Polygraph. Uh, okay, positive reinforcement. Uh, praised. Uh, I guess there's a map. Oomph. Okay, PGA. Usage. An outcrop. Boho chic. Prominent parts of toucans. Could be bills or beaks. Plains tribe is Oto. Uh, 
bank don't work. Mao was the author of On Protracted War, I guess. Sonoma and Yukon are GMC's back to work. Practice changing one's con costume by the clock. Time to get up. Ready to rock. Time to get up. Back to work. I see. So the uh, the acrosses have sort of been alighted. I see, okay. This is cross to bear. Cross to bear. Back to work, back to work. Time to get up, time to get up, and ready to rock. The Ichis are literally crossing a bear now. Okay, I, I admit, I didn't read Paddington as a kid. Uh, I did read pa some Paddington as an adult, though. I know he comes from Peru. And I know he has that, you know, intense, angry face. Or he, like, stares into your soul or something. <coughs> so, like, is the phrase crossing a bear, does it have any currency? Or is it just, like, I understand here that cross a bear is cross to bear. Uh, so it's, like, kind of a cute... Spoonerism of cross to bear. And so we've got all these things crossing a bear. But I was just wondering if this Paddington reference is specific or it's just it's just some other bear to mention. Which I think it's just some other bear to mention. Um Smoky Bear, Teddy Bear, Boo Boo Bear. Yeah. So I guess, you know, it's the kind of amusing spoonerism type things. I don't know if they technically are spoonerisms. They're sort of egg corns in some way, uh, right? An egg corn is a word or phrase that results from mishearing or misinterpretation. You know, egg corn versus acorn. So we'll call these ursine egg corns. No, they're actually not ursine. They're, uh, they're all twos in the middle. Um, Get up. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting that, you know, this isn't revealing what's happening. It's just another example of what's happening that is also affecting all the other ones. Um, so I don't, you know, It's not super cohesive, I don't think, right? It's just like, these are four, what I'll call, egg corns, and then one of them is also illustrated with the other ones. It's interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem super cohesive, I guess. It seems a bit like a smattering of ideas, but they're kind of cute ideas, so it's not. it wasn't unpleasant or anything, it's just... Yeah, I can't get the whole idea in my mind at once. I'm also extremely tired right now, so um, you might have noticed I can't keep my eyes open, really. They're also super dry. Anyway, you don't need to know that. Let's try to go quickly, look through this puzzle, see what we can learn. Uh, I couldn't get Yushiri or, out of my mind, so that's why I left this letter unfilled for so long. Skedaddle's nice. On a is a ugly three-letter partial. Also, quite a dated reference at this point. Does I'm on a boat really have that much cultural currency? That's something you shouldn't take lying, basically. I did know Greg Popovich, legendary coach. Decent amount of proper nouns all over the place, I'll say. But it is a, uh... It's a Wednesday. It can be a bit hard. I don't think it was super hard. 
but I can imagine if you don't know some of these proper nouns, it gets much harder. Right? Even just around here, there's Eli, Chris Red, Della Reese, Naomi Osaka, that's Amstel, uh, Smokey Robinson, although, you know, that's clued twice because it's also a kind of bear. I guess Mao, but Mao must be one of the most well-known. <laughs> Greg Popovich. Maybe La Brea, if you're not from the United States or something. Maybe it's not as many as it felt like. At least this is this is included as Alyssa Milano. It's included as the uh, city. Yeah, so I don't think this was super easy, but the, none of the clues are super hard either. I feel like the clues were not too bad, but the, some of the fill was not super easy. Went a bit faster than average, actually, and so far, 100% of people have solved faster than average, and 71% of people have solved much faster than their Wednesday average. So apparently, this is quite a fast puzzle, actually. Um, but I didn't see the the, uh, the theme until the very end, so some of these looked a bit weird. Ready to rock, time to get up, back to work. All right, that's enough about that. Let's move on to some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph Plus Word. Here's your spoiler alert for the Plus Word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. Let's uh, let's do it. Trolleys, guitar aids are capos. Capos actually, and mafia heads are capos. Uh, criminal's excuse is an alibi. A stereotypical dog name. There's a lot. Those were the days. Satisfies is sates. They're just carts. Aloha, pivot, obese, and sires. Rover. And, interesting, where's the I go? At the end? Itchy. The beginning. And there's a Y. Alright. Aloha. So that's, that's American. Hawaiian, specifically. You know, I like to I like to see how British this thing is. I don't think you need to be British at all to solve today's. So let's uh, let's see some more Britishness, maybe in the Telegraph code words. There's a link in the description below. Unfortunately, not free to play. But hopefully, you might enjoy watching them, or you know, skip past if you want. I feel like this is gonna be Calyx. It's always Calyx. It actually really could be Calyx, and this could be an E. This could be an A. Let's let's see what it, what that looks like actually. Like this? Does anything look horrible? Not really. I think this has to be an O then. No. Uh. Ooh. I guess I didn't ever think about this letter. Because now I want it to be Xenon, so I guess I, I want this. I think this is an R. And this is a G. And this is an S. And this is a Trilogy. Okay. Digestif, perhaps? Fodder. This is Thatch 6th, that's what that was. Uh, nut, I suppose? Where's our Q? Upsurge. There's no Q? Oh, here's the Q. Immune. Humankind. Member. Observe. Jovial. Buzzer. Alright. So I guess that it pays to do the code words often to just see that this is Calyx, which I think we have to call, call the breakthrough today. It's wrong about the E here, so I guess the other breakthrough you might argue is Xenon, but yeah, some uh, some code words meta tips. <laughs> A 
a lot of the words appear over and over in code words. All right, let's see what we can make of the code words regular. I first thought it was an E, but it could be something like a T, I suppose. Eagle? Maybe it's eagle. Doesn't look so bad. So what is this? look so good, does it? A cha? Mocha? Something... There's something I'm not figuring out here. This feels a bit weird. I guess we try a, an H here. This is a T chatted. No, chatter. Truckle, maybe? Is there a Q somewhere? That's the Q, I guess. No, that's not the Q. This is the Q. Says, I suppose. Bodyguard. That's oh, ardor spelled like that, right? <clears throat> Yoppery, huh? Something's definitely wrong. I just don't know what. Dreamland. Uneaten. Okay. Maudlin. Some kind of scape, right? No. Some kind of cake? Knave. Tipsy cake? What is tipsy cake? A judge. Pharaoh. And where's our X? All right. Turned out to be pretty hard. Actually, actually I didn't make any missteps, did I? Did I make some at the very beginning? I don't think I did. But some of these words are so weird, or just didn't come to me, so I felt like I was making mistakes all around. Like, what is Tipsy Cake? What is Yabbery? What is Waymark? Theme Park I sh maybe should have seen. I had a hard time seeing a judge, but it's not a super common word. Yeah, so Tipsy Cake, I assume that's a kind of baked good. Incredibly buttery brioche buns soaked in an incredibly incredible spiked cream served in individual cast iron pots. It's a bit of a use overuse the word incredible. Incredibly buttery brioche buns soaked in an incredible spiked cream served in incredible individual cast iron pots. Fresh sponge cake soaked in good cherry and good brandy. Alright, I guess that's the tipsy part. What is yobbery? British slang, behavior typical of aggressive, surly youth. Yeah, not a good thing in general. And then waymark. Is that a, a mark that you make along the way? Like a wayfinding mark? Yeah, it basically is. A similar signpost marking the route of a footpath. All right, so that was hard. And cha. Like, I guess, like, cha-cha-cha, or cha-like tea. Yeah, so this made me second-guess the A, but in the end, 
and then it was correct. All right, let's end as we always do on the New York Times Connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. Try not to get gaslit. I see hammer and sickle, but okay, banana hammer. Register sickle, flower, sun, feather, moon, pound, herald, star, bang, croissant, slam, mushroom, chronicle. So these to me read as newspaper words. You know, the Daily Sun, the Daily Herald, Daily Register, <laughs> newspaper names, there we go. Croissants, sickles, the moon, and bananas are all curved. Could be curved anyway. Hammer, bang, pound, and slam. Could be right. And then flower, feather, star, and mushroom. Those are all Mario things. Things that Mario can consume. Yeah, power-ups in Super Mario World. And then I think... What's harder? I think these curved things are harder. And then these are just hit hard. Nice. Always good to figure out all the connections. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.